What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Piece. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Piece Pirate Crew for liking this video before it even starts. If you want to be a member of the Wano Piece Pirate Crew, hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Just do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for One Piece memes, updates on the channel, One Piece cosplay, and plenty of other One Piece things. This week, we are recapping chapters 341 through 350. The Straw Hat Pirates decide that their best bet is to go back to the crime scene because Nico Robin, the only thing that she can do that's gonna make this situation worse, as she said, is to actually kill Iceberg. So they go there to make sure Iceberg doesn't get killed and to get Nico Robin back. Usopp bought supplies to attempt to fix the going Mary. What also happens is Frankie recharges to get ready to fight Luffy again, but he recharges with like cola or something he buys from the, uh, the bar. The entire Galley Live company is guarding Iceberg. Now on the other hand, we have the Frankie still looking for the Straw Hat Pirates and they say that they have Usopp and they're trying to get the Straw Hat Pirates, lure Luffy out so that way Frankie can fight him again. But this is obviously poor timing because the Straw Hat Pirates' main focus should be on clearing their name and finding Nico Robin and figure out what her true deal is. Iceberg goes and he tells Pauly, like, yo, you're the only person I trust. I need you to go and get something from the president's office, right? So when Pauly goes to do that, he's discovered by two people because basically they had two people out of this group that's working with Nico Robin, the CP9 group, and they were watching him, Pauly, the whole time. So they went and followed Pauly to where this place was. Pauly tries to defeat them but cannot defeat them. Um, now, Iceberg was one step ahead of these guys and the thing that Pauly went to get was a fake. He was supposed to leave it with them and run. Run. But instead, he fought for it. Pauly was defeated but the thing that they were looking for was actually the blueprints to the Pluton. And what we find out, remember they said the Pluton could uh, make entire islands disappear. The Pluton is actually a warship. The government is using the CP9 agents to get the blueprints from Iceberg. They've tried to negotiate with him, but since that isn't working, they decided to take it by force. CP9 stands for Cypher Pole Number 9. Now there are CP1 through 8. Those are usual things and they're used to uh, like a secret service and they're all around the world, the nine points of the world but the other eight aren't allowed to kill. CP9 is even more top secret than the other eight. And they're allowed to kill civilians who may get in their way of their orders. And the CP9 people, man, they're, they are pros, they're professionals. They do what they do, their bodies are hardened, they can, uh, Harden their body to the same uh, tension or strength as steel. I go hard, guys. They can use their fingers as like knives or weapons. They can, uh, they weaponize their bodies. They've been training for these moments ever since they were young, and they believe that they're fighting for justice. They end up taking down the highly skilled carpenters of ease. They even take down the chief mechanics, right? So, then we have a plot twist. We thought they took down the chief mechanics. What happened is, they had Keiku and Rob Lucci look like they were down, but actually they were in on this the entire time. How could you do this to us? How? 
Seeking, studying, and deciphering the true history is illegal. This is what Nico Robin does. She's been doing it since she was about eight years old. She's the only one who can decipher these different languages to find these ancient weapons. So that's why her bounty was so high. The government wanted to find her so that they could then, in turn, use her to find these weapons and weaponize these weapons. They want to use the Pluton against pirates to, to end the age of pirates and cause people to listen to the government without any um, rebellion or anything like that because their weapons will be so powerful. I don't think this power should be in anyone's hands, but at the same time, the way the government is going about it is really pretty shady too. Now, with the CP9 individuals realized, let me tell you who the CP9 is actually. So we got Keiku, we have uh, Rob Lucci, and we have the guy from the bar. His name's Blueno, and we also have Karifa, the uh, the secretary. So they were all in it, and they've been working undercover for five years. That's a long time to work undercover. They said their time is running low, so that's why they have to go ahead and get this by force right now. The cipher pole number nine, CP9, they work directly under the government. It's crazy. So their orders come from the world government. So the things they do come from up above. Probably a direct line to the five other stars or something like that. Because the things they do are very, very shady, but that's where it comes into play. Does the end justify the means? That means does what you do to get to a happier, safer, safer place of peace, does that matter? Like, is it okay to kill, is it okay for what Thanos did, for example, in Marvel? Is it okay for him to kill off half the world to get peace? I don't think so. I don't think that's fair, especially if I get choose, chosen to be the half that gets snapped away. So, after all this thinking, they come to the realization that Frankie is the one that that Iceberg actually gave the real blueprints to. I wonder if Frankie even knows he has the blueprints, because Frankie's a cyborg. It could be programmed into him somewhere. You know what I mean? It could be inscribed on him somewhere. I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but I'm interested to see. Let's keep going. So, Luffy, the Straw Hat Pirates, and Pauly break in just in time before they kill Iceberg. So, they're trying to save Iceberg, but they're also kind of confused on why there are mechanics working against Iceberg, why there are mechanics trying to kill him, and Nico Robin appears to be doing all of this on her own. She appears to want to be doing this. It's no magic spell, there's no person uh, holding a gun to her family or anything like that. She's doing this on her own. Her goals in life is to decipher all this stuff, find the true history, that's where her goal is. And she's gonna do it by any means necessary. She doesn't care who she has to walk over, she doesn't care what friendships, what relationships get decimated, she just doesn't care. So the CP9 have, as I said, mastered a technique that make their body a weapon. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. And uh, it makes them stronger than 100 men. So the power of 100 men, that's what the CP9 have. They can move fast, dodge your attacks, they can hit you hard, they can poke holes in your body, literal holes in your body with their finger, which is crazy. They're just, they're an elite force, man, a real elite force. Luffy's attacks didn't even work on Luchi. Like, uh, they ended up throwing... Throwing Zoro out of the building, throwing Luffy out of the building, crashing the building down, just destroying the whole building, and leaving Pauly and... Um, leaving Pauly and Iceberg in the building, tied up with the building on fire. So I'm not sure if they're going to make it out or if they're going to die there. My answer is yes. No! No! No, not me! Why are you coming for me? Some... 
I think the only reason they allowed the Straw Hat Pirates to escape is because they wanted to blame this whole situation on them. So Nami is captured by the remaining members of the Galila Company. They're gonna force her to tell him what's going on. While all this is going on, Lusop is talking with Frankie and uh, they kinda, kinda have a good relationship going. They're exchanging a lot of talk and talking a lot of stuff. And even Frankie says that the going, mar the going Mary is finished. So the ship can't go on anymore. And that kinda gets Lusop all fired up all over again. While all this is going on, the CP9 are on their way to get Frankie. So we have the Square Sisters, Frankie, and Usopp left, and the CP9 is on their way. One more thing I want to let you know is Tom, the guy before Iceberg, who was the uh, head mechanic, um, he actually is the one who invented the C train, and that's why it's called the Puppet Time, just a fun fact. That's where these chapters end. I'm not sure how they're going to get another ship if, in fact, everyone believes that they're the ones that killed Pauly and Iceberg. If everyone believes that, there's no way they're going to get a ship here. They may end up having to take the sea train or having to take Gordon Mary as far as she'll go just to get off the island. We'll find out in the next video. But let me catch you up on a short time. So, Kadetsu and the Digger guy, they open up a tunnel that goes to the hot springs. The crab named Hasami that took uh, that took Luffy and the crew across the desert, he's actually worked as a bus to get everyone to the hot springs. So Princess Vivi and uh, her crew came to the hot springs to get bass and just kind of kick it. One thing I noticed was Pell the Falcon is back. So that bomb didn't kill Pell the Falcon. Pell the Falcon. Halfway. Probably would have killed a regular human, but it didn't kill Pell probably because of his devil fruit power. So Pell the Falcon is alive. All that sad music was for nothing. He's still alive, and I'm glad to hear it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. The Grand Line is a rough place. You're going to need a strong pirate crew to get through. Join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew today by hitting that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.